Working for you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Williams. Good afternoon, sir. And good afternoon, Honorable Mr. Richards. Good afternoon, sir. This is culture. Now, I have a, um, an advice for you to, to give to you. In the first place, there is some kind of construction going on down there close to, to um, Hilden. And I noticed that blocks has been going up, and I haven't seen any steel that the blocks have been placed over. So I would like you to look into that for us, please, because some years ago, some buildings were going up down at camps, and there were no steel in those buildings, and they had to be stopped, and that problem was rectified. So please look into that. Now, I know that the government... The government has obligation to put in infrastructure in the country like light, water, roads, hospitals, schools, and um, security like the prison, and air and support. But now I would like to know, suppose I happen to go to St. Martin to get a prosthetic leg, and I'm down there, and I want to come, is it the government obligation to send a ticket for me to bring me back here? I don't think so, but I would like to hear the answer from you. But I know if I get in a fishing boat and I go down in station waters to fish and they hold me, then I know that is the government obligation to see about the citizens if <coughs> I am captured in another country. I will listen up here for your answer. Thanks and have a good have a good day. The God is blessing unity government and he will continue to make you all strive. Thank you very much. With regards to the first question that you asked about the development taking place in the area of Hilden, that is a matter which would have to be brought to the attention of the appropriate authorities at physical planning uh, before anyone embarks upon a construction project. They should have building plans approved by physical planning. Your second question about the person who supposedly traveled overseas to get a prosthetic leg and cannot return to the Federation, no, the government is not obligated to assist that person in returning to the Federation. One would think that our citizens are conscientious in whatever it is that they are doing and if one decides to go to to go overseas, be it St. Martin or wherever, to pursue medical treatment in this particular case that he or she would make provisions for his return to the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Indeed, yes, from time to time, the government would provide persons with assistance, taking into consideration the circumstances, but it is not that the government is obligated to do so.